Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, I am going to explain you how we can create dynamic block with attributes inside AutoCAD. So here you can see this is my default screen of AutoCAD. Whenever you will launch your AutoCAD, this will look something like this. So I will start with a template. I will select this template, no template metric to start new drawing. So here you can see my new drawing has been started. So I am using all default tools here. So we'll start with creating a rectangle first. So we'll go on to the home here. We'll activate our two point rectangle tool from here and we'll drag it like this. And then I will specify the size of my rectangle. I want to keep it 150 by 100 and we'll press enter. So here you can see I had just created this simple rectangle here. So now I'm going to convert this rectangle to a block. To convert this rectangle to a block, what you can do, you can just go onto the insert panel here and here you will be able to see the create block tool here just activate the tool then here you can see it is asking me to provide the name of the block so i will give it a name let's say i want to write block one and then i have to specify the pick point for this block so i will activate the pick point tool and i want to keep this point as a pick point tool tool so i will just select that point and here you can see the point has been selected now i have to specify the object that i want to convert to into block so i will activate the tool i want this complete object so i will drag it like this to select the whole object and will press enter on my keyboard to accept the the object so here you can see it is giving me a preview here also so this block has been selected now i will leave everything as it is at as default and will press ok and i will make sure that the here tick uh, this one is ticked here open in block editor and we'll press ok so here you can see my block has been created and now we are inside block editor since we had taken the open in block editor that's why we are into block editor right now since we are into block editor uh, here you will be able to see your block authoring palettes if you cannot see this uh, panel here you can just activate it from here here you can see now go to your parameters here parameters and you have to activate this linear parameter tool so I will activate this linear parameter tool and I will specify the linear parameters to my object. Here you can see I will specify two linear parameters here. I want this distance and the vertical distance. So I will again activate the linear parameter tool and will define these two parameters. So here you can see I had just defined two different parameters with the name distance one and distance two. These are the two linear distance parameters. Now I will just select both the parameters and press Ctrl 1 on my keyboard to open the properties of these two parameters. And inside this linear pro parameter properties, I will change the number of grips to 1. Here you can see. So here you can see instead of two grips, now it is showing only one grip for each parameter. Here you can see. Now I will close down this properties panel from here. And uh, the next thing is that we have to apply action to these parameters. So we'll go on to the action uh, panel here inside the block authoring palettes and here you'll be able to find the stretch action here. So I'm going to apply this stretch action on these two parameters on distance one parameter and on distance two parameter. So we'll first activate the stretch tool from here and we'll select this parameter. First I'm going to apply uh, my stretch to uh, my stretch action to this parameter. So I will select this parameter and then it is asking me to specify the point to associate with the action so i want this point to be associated with the action then it is asking me to select the corner of the stretch frame so i will specify the two corners of the stretch stretch frames so this is the stretch reason that i want to include or the stretch uh, parameter and then i have to finally select the object so this is the object that i want to include into this action and then i will press enter on my keyboard here you can see the stretch stretch this stretch parameter has been applied on the distance one uh, distance one parameter so we had applied this action on distance one now we'll uh, repeat the same process on distance two we'll activate our stretch action tool we'll select the parameter we'll specify the point then we'll uh, specify the reason and we'll select the object and we'll press enter so here you can see we had applied both the stretch actions on these two parameters and now we are done we can just click on the close block editor from here and we can save the changes to block so here you can see this is uh, our block that we got 
and it, it said dynamic block right now because here you can see we got the two stretch actions associated with it with the two grips here if i want to stretch it i can use stretch it in the both directions here you can see and so this way you can create your dynamic block inside uh, autocad so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, insert few attributes with this dynamic block so this we can do like this just select the block then go on to the insert panel here click on the block editor and uh, click ok to edit this block so again we are back into our block editor here you can see i will close down this properties panel from here and now i am going to define few more attributes inside this block so what i can do i can again go back to my insert panel here then i got this option to define attributes here you can see this you can also activate this tool using attdef command on your AutoCAD but I always prefer to work with this uh, these tools that you can see here so I will activate this tool define attributes and then I will start defining few attributes here so first I will define the tag number so when you are writing tags you don't have to use any spaces between your uh, text you have to this must be continuous then in the prompt you can use uh, use the space or whatever it is then in the default i will just give it uh, any random number for now that we can change and in justification i will always prefer to use middle center and will press ok and then i will put my tag somewhere here then i will specify few more tags here so i will do it quickly a little bit here Here you can see I have defined four five different kind of attributes inside this block. Now I am going to align these attributes. So I will use my text align tool and I will select all the text that I want to align. Then I will select the text and I will make sure that my ortho mode is on and I will align like this. So here you can see I had aligned all the text uh, in, uh, in a proper manner. Now I can just click on close block editor from here and click on the save changes and here. so here you can see we had applied attributes to this block but it is not visible none of the attributes are visible so we have to uh, run a command called a double t s y n c and we'll press enter and here you can see it is selecting me to enter an option name select or whatever so i will click on select and we'll select the block to synchronize and we'll press enter and here you can see at the moment i had uh, applied the attsync command at synchronize command and the, all the attributes are visible now so these are all the attributes that is associated with my dynamic block if i want to change these attributes i can just uh, double click on uh, those attributes and i can uh, re-enter or uh, i can change the values associated with it so here you can see i am able to change very fast like this here you can see I can change this attribute as well like this is the seed quantity that I can change to maybe 15 and we'll press ok and here you can see so this way you can create a dynamic block inside AutoCAD um, and define attributes with that associate attributes with that so if you have any confusion uh, about the process you can just comment below in in the video and I will try to answer them Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to press like if you are happy with my content. Thank you so much.